Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagdagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Good morning, Grade 6 pupils, and to all Valenzuelanas out there. How are you doing? I hope everyone is doing fine. Are you ready to explore and discover new learnings? Awesome! Welcome to another amazing episode of Valenzuela FB Live for Science 6. I am so glad to meet you again. Can I get a heart reaction before we start our lesson? Thank you, kids. Let's get started. Our most essential learning competency for today is to describe sound energy and give examples of it. Let me give you a few reminders to be observed during our FB Live discussion. First, Type your real name and school name. Listen carefully and jot down notes. Respect everyone's view online. Don't send stickers. Don't use foul words. And don't play games or watch TV. Since everything is set and clear to you, we may now start our today's discussion. Are you excited? If yes, click the thumbs up button in the comment section. Last time, we discussed about friction. What is this friction again? It is a force that opposes motion between two touching together. It can be static, or kinetic. How do they differ from one another? When we say static friction, it is a friction that prevents an object from moving against the surface. While kinetic friction is the force acts between moving surface. Now, there are several kinds of friction, and these are Rolling friction, sliding friction, and fluid friction. And to make our lessons more exciting and enjoyable, kindly guess the unknown picture by combining the picture clues. Just type your answer in the comment section if you already know the answer. First, just type your answer in the comment section, kids. Very good. The answer is headphone. How about these two pictures? Just combine the two picture, kids. Very good. The answer is microwave. For number three, okay, correct. The answer is lighthouse. Next, just type your answer in the comment section, kids. Very good. The answer is thermometer. Uh, 
And the last one we have gray. The answer is flashlight. Good job, kids. With that, I will give you a big thumbs up. Are you familiar with these things? These are related to our topic this third quarter. It is about the different forms of energy. Let's have our science trivia for today. Are you familiar with an ear, earworm syndrome? An earworm syndrome is a memorable piece of music or saying that continuously occupies a person's mind, even after it is no longer being played or spoken about. Okay kids, for sure, you already experience an earworm syndrome, especially if you want to hear your favorite song. Please listen. Isn't it? Let's keep going. For now, let us focus on the different forms of energy. Always remember that energy comes in different forms. These forms of energy are produced differently and one of these is the sound energy. Sound is very important in our daily lives, right? Can you imagine a, wor a world without sound? Life can be very dull and boring. I guess without it, right? Give me an idea what a sound is. Alright, I know you have a lot of ideas about sound. Thank you, kids. When we say sound, it is the term to describe what is heard when sound waves pass through a medium to the ear. Sounds are made by vibra vibrations of molecules. Sound travels through air, liquid, and solid materials. No medium, no sound. Sound energy is the energy produced when sound waves move outward from a vibrating object or sound source. Vibration means quickly moving back and forth or up and down about a point of balance. Sound has many uses. Sonar devices could also send out ultrasound waves and then use the echoes to locate underwater objects. Fishing boats use sonar to find schools of fish. Oceanographers, a scientist who study the ocean, use it to map the seafloor. Another uses of the sound Ultrasound has many uses in medicine. High-intensity vibrations from ultrasound waves are used to safely break up kidney stones in patients. Ultrasound scanner is used to examine internal organs such as the heart, pancreas, bladder, ovaries, and brain. Sound energy is essential in our daily lives. Sound energy makes the world beautiful and interesting. We can communicate and understand each other because of the sound produced by our body. Okay, kids, I will give you 20 seconds and cite some examples in your house that produces sound. Type your answer 
in the comment section. Just type your answer in the comment section, kids. Okay. Fantastic, kids. Now, after discussing everything, I want you to click the like button in our comment section if you already understood the lesson for the day. All of your answers are correct. Very good, kids. Do you have any questions? Please reserve your questions for the follow-up discussion tomorrow. Further activity about the different forms of energy will go into discuss by your science teacher. Grade 6, do not forget to attend your follow-up discussion tomorrow. To end our journey for today's learning, let us sum up the topic that we discussed. First, we agree in the rules and regulations during our FB Live discussion. Friction is a force that opposes motion between two touching together. Earworm syndrome is a memorable piece of music or saying that continuously occupies a person's mind, even after it is no longer being or spoken about. Sounds are made by vibration of molecules. Sound travels through air, liquid, and solid materials. And we communicate and understand each other because of the sound produced by our body. For your evaluation for today, I want you to choose the letter of the correct answer, then type your answer in the comment section. Understood, kids? First, it is the term to describe what is heard when sound waves pass through a medium to the ear. Is it A, light, B, heat, C, electricity, or D, sound? Just type your answer in the comment section, kids. Very good. The correct answer is letter D, sound. How about for number two? Which is true about sound? Which is true about sound energy? Is it A, it is produced by free electrons? B, it is produced by moving electrons? C, e, it is produced by electromagnetic? Or D, it is produced by the vibration of matter. Great. The correct answer is letter B. How about for number 3? It is a substance to which a vibration travel. A vacuum, B speed, C medium or D light. Nice. The correct answer is letter C medium. How about for number four? These are made by vibration or the fast back and forth movement of something. A light. The ocean wave, the sound waves, or the electrical wave. Great. The correct answer is letter C, sound wave. And then for number five, what is a quick back and forth movement? A pitch, B intensity, C vibration, or B frequency. Very good. The correct answer is letter C, vibration. 
Good job, kids! It seems that you already understood our lesson. You may now answer our module for of science learning packet for follow-up learning. There are different things that found in our house that produce sound. And for your assignment, write at least five examples of it. Okay, kids, do not hesitate to ask your science teacher if you want to clarify something regarding in our lesson. We are done with our science lesson, kids. You did a great job for today. With that, I must say that you are all super science. Before I end, let me remind you this wonderful quote. Most people do not listen with the intent to understand. They listen with the intent to reply. Tune in for more fun and exciting science lesson here in Valenzuela Livestream Science 6 group. Again, I am Sir Winston M. Retiro from Karuhatan East Elementary School. See you next time. Thank you for watching, kids. Wear your mask, wash your hands regularly, stay home, and stay safe. Have a great day. Bye.